Welcome to part three of walking on the Whipkey Ridge Warpath. And this is my, when I'm finished with this 10 miles, I'll be at 7,029 miles in four and a half years. Now I'll get right, back, right to the subject I was gonna talk to you guys about. And it's the speech from last night. The traitor and thief tried to justify a lie and he just rambled on about how we're doing a good job of spending more money and a third a third front on this war on terror and uh the people are just they they can't believe it the guys uh he thinks we're all freaking stupid you know <laughs> and it was great even on in yahoo news this morning and you know yahoo.com is usually uh, more on the side of obama it said Obama forgets to mention the rebels. <laughs> you know why I didn't talk about the rebels? Because the rebels are Al Qaeda, and we're and they're the enemy of our soldiers. And he didn't want to get himself in a trap to say anything good about the rebels, because he knew if he said anything good about the rebels, then you know our soldiers would be really—they're already pissed off at him anyway for doing their job and going in here and like uh congressman west from uh down in florida said you know he's a colonel he's like this is senseless to be there you can't drop bombs and expect to be victorious on uh you know without putting soldiers on the ground you know so <laughs> it's uh yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's it's even Yahoo News set it up for the for the smackdown this morning. Everybody was able to smack down the president, you know, cuz he's a traitor and Hillary's a traitor and <laughs> this whole this whole Libya thing is a traitor. And like I said in a, a bunch of things this morning about how um uh, you know, this is the New World Order's chess board and they're knocking down a pond at a time, Egypt, and you know, all, you can go all the way across to Yemen, and you know, all the, all you know, what's going on, all the different countries. I don't have to mention them. And now, you know, Libya, you know, it's all a strategic chessboard that they're trying to control, as as they're all they've been controlling the world for the last 50 years, maybe 40 years. So, uh, you know, they're just using Obama to, to win their chessboard of North Africa and the Middle East. And it's, it's just, people are onto the game. They're losing. And then, like, Media Matters came out, and George Soros, Media, Media Matters, and, uh, and, uh, Cass Sunstein, <laughs> the czar who means nothing to us Americans. He's a flea. And we need to get rid of the, we need to de, de louse the, the, uh, Washington DC of these pesky little czars. You know, I, I'd love to just meet Cass Sunstein in the street. You know, I'd punch that son of a gun right in the face. I'd John Wayne kick his ass all over Washington DC. I don't care if I get thrown in jail, but I sure would love to John Wayne kick his ass everywhere all around. I couldn't, you see me just like mopping him up. Like on the street, just dragging his, dragging him by his feet, pick him up, do one of those whirlwinds, you know, spin him around circles and let him fly into the stop signs. Yeah, that's Cass Sunstream. I kick his ass. <laughs> I'd like to do that to Obama too. Wouldn't that be cool? Just to, if you had a shot to get him in the rubber room and just, let's go, Obama. Let's take it on. Let's go. <laughs> this is for being a traitor and just. Beat the heck out of him, <laughs> you know. It'd be great. Of course, he probably knows black belt and kung fu karate. <laughs> but I, I sure would have fun trying to kick his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Cast sunscreen. He'd probably just pull out a gun, like in, uh, you know, <laughs> like in the what is it, the Indiana Jones? You know, Indiana Jones, that guy with the swords. He just pulls out his gun, shoots him. So, yeah, they fight fair. But I'll see you in part four. 